Say we want to find a value inside a table and sum the adjacent columns. Now this is possible with VLOOKUP, but we need to do an extra step. We need to make it an array function so we can sum the columns. Now, this is a bit advanced, so let's get into it and I'll show you how you can sum multiple columns using a VLOOKUP. First of all, we have our units sold here for our television, laptop, tablet and keyboard and 2013 the amounts and 2014 the amount of units sold. We want to find how many units we sold in 2013 and 2014 for laptops. So we want to sum these two values there, which is 35,400. We can do this using a nested VLOOKUP formula and then putting that into an array formula. And I'll show you how, how it's done. Equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is this here. It's the item, which is the laptop. The table array is in here. We're looking at all those values. The column index. Now, we need to put, instead of putting two plus three, which is column index two, three, this is one, this is number two, this is number three. So we need to sum the column index number two and number three. To do this, we need to put in the squiggly brackets, as you can see there, and put in two, comma and three and then close it like that so that will allow us to sum those two arrays and final is an exact match and let's close this and press enter so what it's given us now is a wrong value but i'm just going to show you that it's taking the first value that it's seen and return that now we need to change this so press f2 and in here we need to put a sum formula and then at the end let's put another bracket and let's end it now the same thing has happened because it's summing the first value it, it looks at so it's returning the first value which is 16,700 and then summing that but we need to make it into an array formula to do this we're going to press Control shift enter and then that means it will allow us to sum the column number two and column number three Let's get back into this. F2, Control Shift Enter. That's all you got to do. As you can see there, 35,400. Perfect. It's returned it. How cool is that? Now we know it's an array formula because we see the squiggly brackets on the outside at the end of the formula and the start of the formula. Now this is amazing. Now let's take it a step further. Let's put in a drop down list. So click in here, go to data data validation and then click on list the source is going to be over here click on that and press ok so laptop let's go to television 57500 let's confirm this highlight that at the bottom here is 57500 if you can't see this just right click there and you can you know put in your different metrics maximum minimum all this stuff how cool is that so you, you, you can see the sum is 57,500. And then once again, let's go to tablet, 10,900. Confirm that, that's right. Now, that is just awesome. You can sum multiple columns using a VLOOKUP formula. How good is that? If you can do this, you are an expert in VLOOKUP formulas.